Sina recently graduated from a medical school near Tehran. He now works at a hospital in the west of the city. But the job hasn't been easy for him. One of the main problems here is the financial issues, the low income that physicians receive. The government raises the fee for medical services every year, but the raise can't keep up with the inflation rate. Iran's economy has nosedived from years of U.S. sanctions. That's forced cash-strapped hospitals to cut back on doctors' pay. A junior general physician like Sina doesn't earn enough to afford a new apartment or a car. That's the main reason why many young doctors have begun to look overseas. Despite improvements in infrastructure, the brain drain is taking its toll. A new report suggests 4,000 doctors applied for jobs abroad last year, a sharp rise from a decade ago. COVID-19 has also contributed to the falling staff numbers. There has been a surge in demand for healthcare workers in Western countries over the past couple of years. And while Iranian doctors were praised for their efforts during the pandemic, many died while working. The theme of sacrifice was very evident in the early days. We were called the defenders of health and the defenders of health martyrs. But at the end of the day, nothing on the ground improved for us. That discouraged many of my peers. Despite all this, Sina wants to stay and serve his country. But officials know that more work needs to be done to keep him and his peers. We should put more value on our young graduates and allow them to use their speciality to meet their demands. That requires good lawmaking from parliament and good work from the government. Better coordination between the government and the parliament could create an atmosphere in which the youth are encouraged to stay in the country. It takes at least 19 years to train a general physician, starting from high school through to university and medical school. If they choose to leave the country, it wouldn't just be a financial cost for Iran, but also losing a precious asset for the entire country. Reza Hatami, TRT World, Tehran.